Okay, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on this Friday. It's so great to see such a nice turnout. Um, and it's so great to see a great mix of minds. We've got brands, we've got publishers, we've got a couple of agency representatives. So it's really great to see everyone here this morning. So for those that don't know, my name is Jessica and I'm the lead on the IAB South Africa Brand Council, um, working together with Paula and some of the other um, council members. And my day job is working for one day only. And hosting this webinar with me is Audrey, who is the Digital Marketing Manager at APSA, and she's also on the IAB South Africa Brand Council. And we are very excited to have you all here with us today. Just before we start, I just wanted to give an overview of how this would work. So we have a guest speaker who I will introduce shortly, um, who will be unpacking the topic of digital measurement beyond media and the impacts we can kind of look on of how media actually impacts consumer actions and drives business goals. Um, our guest speaker today is Claire Trapankowska. She is the IAB South Africa lead on the Measurement Council and she's working on multiple measurement projects. So I think what she'll be able to present today is going to be very informative and insightful. And in Claire's day job, she is the Managing Director of iProspect South Africa. And then before we, we get going, I just wanted to give a big thank you to Paula Halley, who is the IAB South Africa CEO. So thank you, Paula, for making this possible and for always encouraging us to have um, these conversations. And then also thank you to Special Effects Media, who is very kindly recording this presentation for us and is also making sure that our tech works and we are fail proof. We are recording this presentation. We're only recording the presentation part. And then after the presentation, we are gonna have a Q&A session. You're all welcome to type your questions um, into the Q&A box and we will answer those. But the Q&A session is unfortunately not gonna be recorded so we can keep that dialogue um, open. So Claire, um, over to you. We look forward to your presentation. Thank you so much, Jess. And uh, thank you again to everybody uh, for joining us today. Um, I really am looking forward to a um, hot, uh, contentious debate. Um, I think there's gonna be a lot of opinions as we go through the content. Um, and I look forward to, to shared perspectives. Um, I particularly love the write-up that went out with the invitation to attend this morning's session. Um, despite two decades of innovation, effective measurement and proving the value of marketing remain the greatest challenges for brands and marketers alike. Um, digital natives of today, I think we've all heard this, um, are often heard stating that when it comes to digital, that we're damned if we do and we're damned if we don't. And I'm guilty of having said that frequently as well. That statement has never been more true, nor as critical as it is today. And essentially, this is what's brought us together this morning. Uh, and I really am looking forward to, to sharing some of the journey thus far um, and looking forward to looking at how the IAB together with, with all of us, that we can make this more of a shared journey and a shared opportunity for, for learning and improvement. So just as, uh, just as a quick introduction, um, this is, uh, for those of you who don't know everybody, this is the IAB uh, South Africa Management Committee uh, with the relevant um, committee leads. So as Jess mentioned, um, this, is, this is the side hustle. <laughs> um, and, and this is where you know, we really all get to come together and uh, really just think collectively about the challenges that we're all facing. Um, and part of the measurement committee um, is, I mean, I think that our remit used to be quite limited, but I think the conversation has grown tremendously. Um, and we really feel that we've got a strong role to play in this. Um, you know, we're here to identify and support as well as address the industry measurement needs and challenges. Um, with a focus on what's available, um, as well as what new solutions we require as solutions to address all of these needs and the increasing needs. Um, and we really here as a support system and to aid the industry collectively bringing it all together and making sense of what can often be quite a fragmented uh, landscape. Just a few of our objectives, because I think it really gives impetus um, and context to, to the presentation to some of the topics and I think to the conversation afterwards. Um, you know, there's anticipated developments. We're, we're in the midst of a lot. Um, there's so much going on and it's often hard to understand where to start and, and you know, what that journey looks like is going to be quite different for each advertiser, for each agency. 
Um, we're here to help identify what your current needs are, what our current needs are, um, to define the role of the IAB in addressing these needs and what solutions can we bring to you um, and for you, um, and really to utilize all of our tools, um, our global connections to, to help move the industry forward. So I'm sure you're all wondering, um, you know, what are we gonna get out of today? Um, we know that often we have, I find myself often in these conversations and we talk a lot, um, but it is becoming increasingly difficult to make it tangible. Um, and many of us, if not all, have probably joined today's session because we are distinctly aware of the need for better measurement. Uh, but generally we're at a loss as to how and where to start. So during the course of my short presentation, as well as our ensuing discussion, I really believe that we're gonna be able to walk away with one, a heightened awareness around the challenges that we are all facing, because we're all in this together. Um, yes, it does look and feel different depending on who and where we are in our journey. Journeys. Um, two, we'll gain exposure to old and new tools that are worth considering, hopefully greater insight and perspective, um, and absolutely I'd like to leave you with a few tangible next steps to either starting or continuing your measurement journey. Um, but any good story starts with context and reframing today's challenges and their potential impact on marketing, measurement and value are where we segue into some really hot topics. So the first one, um, <laughs> the messy middle, um, is something I think that we talk quite quite extensively about. Um, and the reality is that the trigger does not necessarily equate to the action. We're in a we're in an environment where marketers and business stakeholders really see eye to eye, nor are they fluent in one another's language. Marketers are under increasing amounts of pressure to measure the impact of marketing activities on consumer action and further translation of said actions into tangible business outcomes, such as revenue leads, sales, increased basket size, and so forth. So that level of understanding and finding that common language is, is often our greatest challenge. The second one, um, and it's concerning, and I do believe it's just the beginning, is that digital distrust is at an all-time high. Um, Dr. Augustine Frau and I add forward have become household names and conversations, and rightfully so. This is both a challenge and a concern for marketers. It's now even harder to demonstrate true value, and ex especially when it comes to being linked to business outcomes. So whilst we knew there were faults in digital distribution chains, the incredible scale of what we don't know, you know, we don't know what we don't know, is growing and it's growing fast. Um, Kantar did a study in 2019 called Getting Media Rights, and there were some really interesting and I think quite pertinent statements that came out of it. Um, and I just want to share three of those with you. So of the respondents, 50% of them stated that they trust data from their agencies. 44% stated they trust data from tech companies, DMPs or DSPs, and only 41% trusted data from publishers and media partners. So that's a problem. Um, you know, we're in the relationship game, regardless of which side that you sit on, um, whether you're a publisher, marketer, um, or sit on the agency side. Um, if we don't have trust for each other, trust for our tech, our, our, our knowledge, our understanding, our ability to drive business forward, um, it's a, yeah, we don't have much. So something that we all need to be cognizant of, and I'm sure we are, you wouldn't be here if you weren't. Then the race to secure first party data is on, um, you know, and with the demise of proxy based targeting, first party data will become more relevant than ever. Um, having up to date and organized first party data will enable brands to have a deeper and more relevant conversation with consumers across all journey touch points and enable better targeting across digital platforms when combined with complementary second and very limited third party data. This alone is a measurement journey in itself as it requires common purpose between marketers and stakeholders, given the financial and technological investment required. Um, so they're all, in, they're all invariably linked. Then uh, someone is, has eaten, is eating all of the cookies. Um, huge shifts in privacy regulation have created a significant ripple effect through the digital advertising arena. 
um, you know, we, we thought we had more time. Proxy-based targeting has slowly been phased out across the world's biggest browsers. Um, and with Google having caused a, a lot of concern in the market with their sort of impending, you know, March deadline. So there's a lot to think about. Um, and if you're just looking at these four, and we haven't sort of added the fifth, you have to start to wonder, you know, where do you start? What is most important? Um, you know, does A be come before C? You know, does C come before A? And then to, to, really, <laughs> to really frighten us, fragmentation is real. You know, we talk about fragmentation in, in, the, in a consumer journey, we talk about fragmentation in a media landscape, but the measurement landscape is as fragmented, both from a corporate needs perspective, as well as a plethora of options available to us. As marketers today, we're fortunate to have so much available to us, delivering real-time and integrated communication and results, yet the greater challenge is of the sheer number of tools available, which vary in cost, in quality, in value, and an output. So really, where does one start? <laughs> this is one of my um, one of my favorite images. Um, and it really does just do wonders in contextualizing the enormity of the global measurement landscape. Um, in 2014, there were 947 solutions. And in 2020, this had risen to 8,000. Um, so where do you start? Um, and, and just sort of going a little further into that 8,000. So 32% of that figure um, are related to data. Um, and 25% uh, of that figure are related to commerce and sales solutions. So you can start to see the trend um, and the, sort of the tech companies growing around that. Um, and what's incredibly interesting as well is when you, when you delve into that a little further and you look at the growth between 2019 and 2020, 68% um, of the 25% growth in data solutions was driven by governance, compliance, and privacy solutions. That makes absolute sense. You know, we have a ton of data. The challenge now is figuring out how to harness it effectively, um, which is what is driving a lot of the software innovation in the space. Um, and because of this, we really do need a fundamental shift in the way that we think and that we approach measurements. And, you know, if we look at this in the last 10 years, that's 5,233% growth of this landscape since 2011. Um, so really, where do we start? I said that we need a, a, a mind shift, a step change. Um, and for me, it's critical um, to understand that me measurement is not a destination and, and measurement is a journey. Um, so we're never going to get to a point where we're absolutely done. You know, we'll get, we'll, we'll resolve first party privacy, sorry, first party data, privacy issues, um, the demise of third party cookies and identifiers. Um, and we're not going to be done. There'll be something else. So it really is just understanding where are you as, a, as an organization in your journey, in your maturity journey, um, and therefore where are you with measurements? I'm sure most of you are aware of Google's digital maturity framework, um, and it's read in reference to the five A's, uh, being audience, assets, um, attribution, automation, and we're going to focus on the core components because I believe that there's a baseline, um, and your baseline and your measurement journey will start with audience and attribution. Oh, I do, I do love a good animation. <laughs> Um, so, so for those of you who are not as familiar with it, um, you know, Google's digital maturity framework works from nascent to multi-moments. Um, and we're able to, to analyze and to really ascertain in your individual organizations where you really are at certain points. And we need to understand that, you know, if you're in nascent, you can't go straight to something that's a multi-moment. And it really is a journey. And we need to understand what are those building blocks not to say it can't be done quite swiftly, um, but we need to do it in a sensible order so that it's a sustainable solution at the end of the day. Um, so when I have a look at and building out the audience layer, um, you know, when you look at nascent, you're looking at limited use of first party data. Um, when you look at emerging, you're looking at a better use of first party data. You've got more detailed segments. Um, you know, you're really working that funnel, you know, as we move into to connected, 
you're looking at multiple sources of data. Um, you know, when you look at multi-moment, it's a complete view of the customer and you're really focusing on sort of lifetime value and full funnel targeting. Um, so as, as we start to break this out into tangible moments, I do believe it becomes a little easier to identify where you are in the spectrum and therefore where your journey in this measurement um, the next one that we're going to look at, and we're just going to look at the two, um, because it is going to be quite different for each organization. Um, and the next one being attribution. Um, so when you look at a baseline and, and understanding where you are on that scale from a nascent perspective, you're just looking at intra-channel measurements. So non, no online to offline. Um, it's limited test and learn. Um, it's what does Facebook offer you is what Facebook, um, and you're not looking externally at all. When you start to look at emerging, um, you're now Doing, doing the intra-channel, but you're adding the occasional brand lift survey, you understand that the scope is growing and that you need to be able to looking cross-channel. Um, then when you get to your connected section, you're, you're really starting to bring in viewability and understanding ad fraud, and it's becoming more attribution focused, um, more driven towards business performance. And then as we move into a multi-moment phase, it's complete online to offline measurements use of data-driven cross-channel incrementality. So you can start to see that, you know, if you're sitting in nascent and you're only focusing on intra-channel, you can't make just one jump and get to multi-moment, but it doesn't mean that you can't do it. This is something that we're working on internally at the IAB in terms of how we can help construct a roadmap that is easy to navigate. Um, we all know that we need to do something. Um, it's the it's the knowing of where to start that is is, is difficult, and I'm going to be quite repetitive as as, as I go through the, the rest of the slides. Um, and you can start to see that you know the next layer that we would we would start to to overlay outside of Google's maturity framework, um, and the next layers are going to be approached by progress in privacy identifiers, uh, first party data and Martech and so forth. What's really interesting is, uh, so part of the measurement uh, council remit is we have a future of measurement uh, subcommittee and it's headed up by, by Imran. Um, and we've recently engaged in a future of measurement survey that will serve multiple purposes. One of which was to better understand your evolving measurement needs. I say your as our, um, which will form the basis of us being able to further develop a South African measurement landscape view. So if we think back to two slides before, we had that horrible mess of 8,000 providers. Not all of that's relevant for our market. So it's understanding that if this, if this is the global context, how do we break that down um, and augment it into something that's relevant for our market, relevant for our advertisers, for our industry, um, and tangible from a, from a value and a cost perspective. Um, we're going to go into a, a few slides um, shortly where I'm going to, we're going to bring up a poll. Um, and uh, there's, there's two polls. And what I'd like to do is I'm going to ask, we're going to ask a few questions. And then we're going to demonstrate what came out of the measurement survey in relation to those questions. Um, I think it's, it, it's a lovely way just to sort of gauge and, and measure where we all are in this journey. So the first poll will be pulled up shortly. So if you just you know, give some thought to, you know, wherever you are at the moment, whether you're sitting in a publisher, um, advertiser, agency side, what do you feel your biggest measurement challenge currently is um, when thinking of your organization? Um, I'll just give you a few moments to, to give that some thought. I'm sure it's a, a, few more, a few more than just one, but if you can just select the one that is most pressing. Okay. Um, okay, so just based on everybody who's on the call, we've got 38% of people who are uh, really concerned about uh, cross-channel attribution, uh, followed closely by return on ad spend and then over-reliance on cookie-based measurements. Interesting. Let's see what the rest of the industry said.
So the question, same as the one we've just posed to you, um, and yes, um, same trends. Um, I mean, there were 46 respondents, um, and when, when, when really analyzing measurement needs and challenges, the overall measurement needs of stakeholders were largely aligned across agency publisher and specialist respondents. Um, and they also indicated that their biggest measurement challenges were in the areas of over-reliance and cookie-based measurements, um, cross-channel attribution. Um, and what was uh, interesting, um, but obvious was brand respondents shared these challenges, but obviously noted the return on ad spend as a high priority and an unmet measurement need. So there's definitely a gap there. Um, part of the study, and uh, there will be an insights uh, series session, or um, actually I think we've had one, we've had one where, where Imran actually took us through all the data, um, is when you look at the spectrum of measurement activities, um, People are measuring digital audience, data and insights, website traffic, behavior, paid media campaign performance. Um, those will remain high as they should, um, but we're seeing an emergence of measurement activities in areas such as digital verification, brand safety, viewability, um, to a similar degree across stakeholders. So what we are seeing is where, depending on whether you sat on advertiser, uh, publish or agency, we had very uh, specific measurement areas that we were focusing on. And I think it's quite indicative of the change that we're seeing in the industry and the, the, the nature of the relationships that it's becoming very partner oriented. Um, we talk about skin in the game and we talk about, um, you know, really driving return on ad spend and, you know, ROI. So I think it really, for me, is indicative of how the, how the landscape is changing and, and the changed ways of workings and the investments. Um, the second poll that we're going to bring up also related to some interesting results is uh, when thinking back to your measurement challenges and the, the brilliant basics, as well as the new measurement opportunities, um, currently that you're aware of, roughly how many digital measurement tools do you currently use in your organization? I'll just give you a few more moments to complete that. Okay, interesting. All right, so I'm so pleased that nobody answered none. <laughs> and I honestly wouldn't expect that either. Um, but, you know, for 4% four of, four of us to still be using 9 plus um, is incredibly high. It really is incredibly high. Um, and if we go to the next slide, we'll have a look at uh, what came out of the, the initial survey. So what I've got here is the list of tools that are most uh, predominantly used. And when we looked at the respondents, uh, their use case was an average six different measurement tools to deliver on the measurement activities that their organizations were engaging in, but with some using as many as 12. Um, so the fragmentation and cost of tools was called out as key concerns around, and a measurement challenge in itself, which is obvious. Um, we, we cannot be using 12 tools. Um, you know, we start to get into very real conversations about, you know, where does the onus sit um, and the responsibility and who should carry the cost and, and, and. So this is a big focus area for us to really understand, you know, how can we make sense of this fragmentation? And is there a way um, to, to, to drive education and awareness around, what, you know, we're never going to get to an ideal stack um, or this is and nothing else. Um, but we certainly may need to make sense of something that's quite messy at the moment. So we've gone we've gone through a lot. Um, we've unpacked a lot of a lot of detail, um, and uh, there's a few key recommendations that I'm going to sort of leave off with um, of ways to thrive in the post third party cookie and identify ecosystem, um, and then we'll get into having a, a really robust conversation. So the first one is to build a value based relationship, um, respectful of consumer preference. 
um, on the collection and use of rich and secure data. So when creating rich experiences um, that consumers value, they're more inclined to share their data. So what is that value exchange? I know it's not possible for all, all entities, um, but it gives us the ability to enable brands and platforms to develop engaging and personalized experiences. This also sets the stage for more effective tracking, measurement and brand safety fraud detection. So that's the first one. The second one would be to leverage third party cookie ID list privacy first addressability solutions to understand, measure and monetize audiences. Um, and what we really need to start understanding and talking about is what should be the new measurement unit? You know, what data could we use? How do we stitch things together now um, with AI and machine learning? Um, you know, and can we thrive without, we, not can we, we can. Um, but, but it's how do we start now? And the key really is on the right data sets and the right integration. Then the third one is to, to get involved in defining standards and adopting them. Um, and that's what we're doing right now. That's what we're doing together this morning. And that's what the IAB is, was working incredibly hard at doing. Um, you know, with the impending, I, I keep saying impending, but it's here. It's not impending, it's here. Um, you know, this era of the, the post third party cookie identifier has prompted the ad industry to turn to industry bodies such as the IAB, the IAB Tech Lab, PRAM for solutions. Um, new playbooks, technical standards, policy guidance and accountability programs need to be written. And as such, consortiums and working councils need to take on new initiatives for this purpose. But it all means nothing without actual adoption by all of us. You know, we really can do all of it, um, but it needs to be it needs to be done knowing that it's going to be viable, it's going to be valuable, um, and and that we will be able to to gain the momentum that is is required. Um, and I think a critical part of that, again, which is, is why this is just a brilliant conversation to be starting together, is that we need more collaboration with experts such as yourselves across the industry to implement privacy first addressability solutions. Um, and we really have started that today. Just as an indication um, of what we're currently busy with, and there's a lot on the go, um, and I mean, I really do challenge challenge everybody who's joined us today to you know to reach out um, to get involved. Um, we have. We need to find a way um, of standardizing the conversation that we're having. Um, and I mean, we've got a big project on the go with the Future of Measurement Committee. Um, and that really is sort of looking at, um, you know, what digital currency partner is required in the landscape of today. Um, and then from there, helping identify a localized measurement landscape. Um, you know, with privacy incredibly important, uh, we've got the insight series, there's the Poppy training guide. Um, we've got the TCF discussion from a viewability perspective. Um, we've had insight series and workshops. There's a viewability paper that's available. Um, and we're working with the global team for Gold Standard, which will be coming soon. When we look at ad fraud, the, um, we're working on getting a task team set up. Uh, we're in close collaboration with the IB Tech Lab and uh, keep your eye out for more comms on that soon. From an attribution perspective, I mean, Tech Lab really is uh, going to be our best friend. Um, they've got so much value um, to be able to, to offer us and really aid us in making it tangible. We all know it, but it's the tangibility that is that is the challenge. Um, from a brand safety perspective, again, you know, we're driving the conversation and awareness through the Insight series. Um, there's also an IAB SA brand safety white paper available and closely linked to viewability, you know, the gold standards that are coming soon will start to address that. Um, from an audience perspective, I mean, that was a big gap. Um, you know, we've got the narrative and, and Telmar fusion. Um, digital ID is critical, uh, so that's a project that we're focusing on now. Um, also quite close to the Tech Lab and they've got Project REARC. Um, and then, you know, we've got we've got other measurements. We've got influence measurements. Um, we've got content marketing measurement, audio measurement framework. And, you know, I would encourage you to interrogate this. And, you know, we want to build this out so that we're addressing our collective needs. Um, so we look forward to be able to build this out further with you um, and understanding are there other areas of concern that perhaps aren't represented here that we can start working on um, and bringing more people into the conversation to, to help us drive this further. 
Um, and yeah, I mean, that, that really is sort of just the closing slide that I'd wanted to share. Um, and I do think it's a great segue into opening up the floor for, for a healthy debate. And yeah, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Jess. Thank you so much, Claire. Wow, I think I have a sort of a few pages of notes here. I think this was very uh, interesting and informative. So thank you so much um, for your time and for presenting that to us. We are going to stop the recording now and we're gonna go into the Q&A um, section. So for those that have questions, please post them um,